Hi, my name is Tiham Saud, and in today's video, I'll be going over how dental school is currently panning out because of the coronavirus and how it's affecting students everywhere. Also, I'll be announcing the winner of the ADA Official Guide to Dental School giveaway, which I did in my prior video. So stay tuned. Okay, so I was pretty curious how I was going to be able to get to do this, so I came across this tool, just pasting in the YouTube link where people use to enter into the giveaway, changing the keyword for the comments to be apply. So anybody that used the word apply is entered into this giveaway because everyone entered in the year they were applying to dental school. Got 20 comments and the winner is Rania Albayeti. Congratulations, Rania. You're the winner of the giveaway for the ADA Official Guide to Dental School. You've already been contacted by now and best of luck in applying to dental schools. Okay, so where am I right now and how does it stand with the current situation? So I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Started dental school in July of 2019. We were slowly introduced to a lot of science classes, basic science classes, things that we've been uh, exposed to in the past and some things we had never seen before. So once we started getting into the groove of things and kind of transitioning into how we need to approach our classes, we were slowly introduced to operative dentistry courses as well. We are taught all the tools, the procedures, the methods, and everything that comes into doing certain things when it comes to restorative dentistry. So we were taught everything in class in a didactic fashion. And then after that, we went straight to the sim clinic right after the class. So we were applying what we learned from the lectures and actually doing it on the mannequins with the plastic teeth. So it was really cool. Like that's what I love about dentistry. You're learning it and then you're just applying what you're doing in real time. That's what I really loved about it. Anyways, it's, that's not what this video is about. Um, so yeah, we're in sim clinic, we're learning and doing the procedures, we're drilling in the teeth, we're learning how to do the class 1 preparations, the class 2 preparations, and how to actually fill it with the amalgam material. Amalgam material is the silver material that you're used to seeing in a lot of people's teeth that's within their actual natural tooth. It's not as common anymore because a lot of people get composite now. It's a little more expensive, but people tend to choose that because it's the natural color of people's teeth. So yeah. But we're still learning with amalgam because it's still fairly common. A lot of people pick it because it's a cheaper option. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the semester. It's December time. We learned a lot of things when it comes to class ones. And then class twos as well was what we continued on to in January, the second semester of dental school. So we also have competencies for these feelings that we're learning about and we have to get them checked off. So that's the last thing that we actually did in dental school up until that time right before spring break so we were told we're on track to learn class threes class fours and class five films right so <laughs> this is what happened so none of us expected to like have any chance of having school canceled so i packed up my bags and i came back to houston and we find out school's canceled and they're telling us don't come back just indefinitely we don't know what's going to happen don't come back, just stay put, we're moving everything online. So that's crazy. We had no idea that this could even be a potential possibility, but that just goes to show how serious this pandemic is. So everyone was concerned that we just learned how to do class ones and class twos. Like in our class, we're pretty concerned as to, okay, we're learning everything right now didactic wise for operative dentistry with class threes, class fours, and class fives but we're not having any practice with our hands. Like dentistry is a profession which requires you to have hand skills and use your hands to do things. It's one thing to learn everything in a lecture, what material I'm using, what my stroke is gonna be, how I'm gonna make sure I'm getting everything how it needs to be done, but it's another thing to do it. So that's one thing we're pretty concerned about. We finished all of class three and class four and class five operative courses online through Zoom, which was so crazy, but we somehow did it. The really hard thing about operative dentistry is that once you kind of have an idea as to how you need to move your hands with the amount of intensity, the pressure and the depth, you feel like you're going pretty good. But then when it comes to the maxillary part of the teeth, meaning your upper teeth, 
it's a whole other story. Pretty interesting because we were just getting exposed to how to use indirect vision when it comes to prepping upper teeth, the maxillary teeth, because you're not able to look at it with your direct line of sight. You have to use a mirror, you're looking at it upside down. And whenever you want to go down, the drill actually goes up. And whenever you want to go left, the drill actually goes right. So it's something that a lot, took, took a lot of time for myself to get used to, including my classmates. And that's what we're stressing about right now. Like we're learning threes, fours, and fives, but we're not able to do anything yet. So the first thing we're going to do when we get back, I'm sure, is go into the sim clinic and learn and practice all the things that we had in operative in March. So yeah, we're gonna have to go back to everything that we did in March. I don't know when school's open, June, July, August, who knows? So where does it stand right now? So currently our school is telling us they're aiming for a May 29th, uh, sorry, May 26th start date. I don't know if that's gonna happen. And they told us they'd give us a two week notice before school starts, doing what I can. You know, we're trying to learn everything online. We're having questions. We're, professors are really approachable. They're really awesome. They're really trying to help us. It's unfamiliar territory for everyone, man. It's unfamiliar territory for the faculty, for the students. So we're all learning how to go about this the best way we can. So I made a personal goal to be able to post at least one video every one to two weeks. So sorry I didn't have one posted in between the prior video because I was honestly swamped with stuff. We were learning everything about pharmacology. It's like a second like second module system we have with pharmacology right now. And we also are learning RPDs, removable partial dentures. RPD is quite the subject because it's so detailed and specific for each patient. So I'll kind of go over procedures in other videos, but man, that is a very intense class and it requires a lot of work, just didactic wise. So procedural wise in the sim clinic, that's gonna be a whole nother story. So where does it stand right now? Who knows? We have no idea when we'll actually be back for certain. I'll be honest, man, I just wanna go back. Like honestly, I just wanna be able to go into the sim clinic and just do everything we're learning so that when it comes time to be in the patient floor clinic, we know what we're doing. Thank you so much, guys, if you ended up watching this entire video, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and follow my account and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you can stay updated with any future content. Also, uh, I made an Instagram for the account, so you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at One Mission DMD. You can DM me on there if you have any questions as well. Go ahead and follow. I'll also be updating everything regarding the channel on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow that. I was able to answer a lot of y'all's questions via email, also through the comments over here on YouTube. Go ahead and keep doing that. I was also able to go over a lot of personal statements too. So if you have any personal statement questions or if you just need an extra set of eyes to read over to get some input, go ahead and send it to me. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.